Minnesota Fighting Vikings quarterback Kirkua Jerome Ezekiel Cousins has been a polarizing figure amongst the fan base since he came here as a 2018 free agent. $84 million fully guaranteed. Got the extension as well. Oh, he's not worth the money. Oh, he'll never win a big game. Oh, he's a dork. Boo, boo. But now Kirk Cousins playing well. He's our dork, man. And Kirk has been playing like one of the best quarterbacks in the National Football League so far this season. Yesterday, against the Carolina Panthers, the Vikings offense teabagged Carolina, put up 571 yards of offense, and one of the best defenses in the National Football League in their building. Woo! Kirk went for 373, three touchdowns, a 112.6 quarterback rating, and Kirk marched 75 yards for a touchdown in overtime as the walk-off. He should be NFC Offensive Player of the Week, but of course we know that's going to Dak because of the Cowboys. Cowboy bias. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, two weeks, two full weeks, we'll get to hear about, oh, America's team is back. No, no. Then we end it on Halloween night. Woo! Bring it on. But Kirky, this season, fourth in passing yards, seventh in touchdowns with 13. Overall PFF grade, 89.9, which is third best in the NFL, with uh, only trailing Russell Wilson and Tom Brady. So better than a, a. Ron Rodgers, better than Kyler Murray, better than Josh Allen. Blah, 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 blah. A quarterback rating 105.6, eighth in the league. EPA, which I don't know, is is a stat that I'm not smart enough to follow, but uh, 33.8, tenth in the league. And Kirk Cousins has had some huevos, massive huevos rancheros when it really matters late in games this year. Uh, look at these big boy drives. 60 yards at the end of regulation to set up the Greg Joseph tying field goal to send it to overtime in Cincinnati. And then he was leading them down 24 yards into field goal range in the Queen City and then the Dalvin quote-unquote fumble. If I could add more quotes, I could. Actually, I, I can because this is my channel, but you know, whatever. And the week two against Arizona, 58 yards at the end of regulation. This gets lost in the wash. And then a missed Greg Joseph 37-yard field goal could have handed the undefeated, undisputed Arizona Cardinals their only L of the season, but didn't quite work out. Wasn't on Kirk that game. And then week five against Detroit, the game-winning drive because you needed a game-winning drive. Big-time throw to Adam Thielen, setting up the game-winning field goal for Greg Joseph, even though he missed the field goal earlier. Not that I'm bitter. Whatever. And then Carolina twice. Twice. So after the defense gave it away, gave it away, gave it away now, and Greg Joseph missed an earlier field goal, Kirk and the offense marched 46 yards down the field at the end of regulation. Greg Joseph missed again. And then in overtime, Kirk and the offense was like, F this, F you. You're not getting the ball back. We're not relying on the kicker. 75 yards straight into the teeth of one of the best defenses in the league. Woo! Love to see it, man. Love to see it. And the Browns game was all about lack of pass protection. Kirk Cousins was under heat all damn day by Clown Shoes, by Miles Garrett, by uh, the two Maliks. And now with Darisaw in, hopefully that will solidify things, at least on the blind side. And it really sucks because that was a home game. Yes, out of conference, but a home game against a quality opponent. And you had a chance to just... Mm, only 14 points given up uh, against the Browns. That should be able to get it done, but whatever. The defense has certainly stepped up since halftime of the Seattle game. Uh, I think they're going to be on track to be a top-five unit again this season. And the Vikings can win a lot of games, a lot of games with this version of Kirk Cousins. And only things are getting better. They're getting better all the time because Dalvin hopefully is going to be healthy and good to go uh, after the bye. Can we get at least 95% Dalvin the rest of the season, please? We'll, we will take that. Offensive line will be improved with Christian Derrissaw in. Maybe Wyatt Davison. I don't know. That defense will be squared away. Hopefully the special teams, especially kicking in key spots, can get its stuff under control. So, the table is set. Table is set, man. Kirk Cousins has not been the problem this year. And there's still one game left in Kirktober. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Time to prove all the haters and the losers wrong. Especially Cowboy fans. I just... Mm, this is going to be a long-ass two weeks, man. It's going to be a long-ass two weeks. But your thoughts are our thoughts. Kirk Cousins playing like one of the best quarterbacks in the National Football League. No cap. None. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Want to support that work? Put a little something in the Venmo. Give me money. But until next time, Skull Production Value.